Okay, I'm gonna cut and chuck this piece, but it's a little larger than, when, than what I'd wanna hold with a webbing sling. So I'm gonna use a dead eye sling and I'll choke the dead eye sling off using the eye and then I'll tie a clove hitch down here below the cut. And of course, I'll finish my clove hitch with at least two half hitches. Now I can make this top cut with my chainsaw or I could feasibly make it with my handsaw and the sling will catch it. Stand clear below. This way I can keep everything nice and tight. No hardware in the system. And now I can lift it up, unhook it, and toss it. A technique that can be very useful, especially when taking up a, a small chunk of wood where I don't want to set up a, a lowering line, is one called the snap cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, make two cuts from opposing sides, and I want to offset the cuts by about an inch or so. And I do want the cuts to bypass, but because I'm not taking off a big piece of wood, be enough wood fiber there to hold the piece intact while I then put the chainsaw away and then I can snap or break the piece off. Some people refer to this as a mismatch cut. Now one of the nice things about this technique is it's a good way to get away from using one hand on the chainsaw. Let's say I were to want to grab this piece because I don't want to just cut it and let it fly. I do want to have control over its fall. Maybe I want to make sure I toss it into a good landing area. What people will do is they'll grab the limb with one hand, make the cut with one hand, and that can be extremely dangerous. So let's take a look at this technique. Stand clear, making a cut. Clear, peace coming down. 